Hey everyone, so in today's video, I wanna talk about how you can start your real estate investing journey in 2023. I know things are a lot different from when I started investing in real estate over 10 years ago, but the things I'm gonna talk about today are just a couple things that I would do if I was just starting out today. One of the amazing things about real estate is there's so many different ways that you can get creative when trying to negotiate your first deal. And these are a couple things that I've learned along the way in my journey to investing in 60 units, $20,000 in cash flow, and over five and a half million dollars in real estate. So let's get into it. So investing in 2023 can seem pretty daunting. Whether you're investing in your first property or you've got multiple units already and you're trying to find deals, it's definitely not easy out there right now. Between the high priced homes and the fear in the market, all this talk about recession, a lot of good opportunities are hard to find. And then there's this whole business about interest rates being through the roof and making it hard to cash flow on any deals you may find. So today I'm gonna to tell you two strategies that I think will help you invest in real estate in 2023, whether you're just starting out or you've got multiple units. Wholesaling. So wholesaling is a great way to get into the real estate space without actually having any exposure. In a time like this, when the market is so uncertain, there's all this talk of recession, interest rates are high, it's probably a good idea, especially if you're just starting out in real estate investing, to not have a whole bunch of exposure. You can wholesale a couple homes, you can stack away that cash, and you can use that for investments down the road when you find a really good deal or if interest rates come down. Now, I'm not an expert on wholesaling. There's plenty of videos all across the internet that can probably break this down very easy and simple for you. So typically with a wholesale deal, you're just going to be finding a property, getting it under contract at a discount, and you're going to mark that property up and market it to other investors. So you're never actually owning the property. You are selling another investor the contract on that home. Now you're going to get the difference of whatever you have it under contract for with the owner and what you sell that contract for to the new investor. So you're essentially just a middleman. And there's plenty of people that have made a lot of money just wholesaling. So right now for 2023, I think it's a great strategy for someone who's just starting out or even for someone who has a lot of doors, but just wants to let the dust settle and stack away some cash. The second is a strategy that I'm currently using to counteract these high interest rates. And that is owner financing. So the beauty about owner financing right now is you can basically negotiate all of the terms with the seller. You could even pay a little bit higher of a price for the property in order to get into a deal because you can negotiate the interest rates with that seller. So for instance, let's say that you get a house under contract for $100,000. If you get that traditionally financed at a bank right now, you could expect probably a 7 to 8% interest rate. But let's just say it's a 7%. That mortgage is going to be $775 a month. Whereas if you find a home that a seller is willing to sell or finance for you, you could potentially get that down to say, let's just put a number out there, 5%. So $100,000 home financed at 5% on a 30 year amortization is going to be $535 a month. So you can negotiate all of these terms and it'll allow you to get more cash flow on a property. Then when interest rates come back down again, you refinance the property and you cash out with the seller. So these are just a couple strategies that I think could help you in 2023, whether you're just starting out or you have a couple properties and you're trying to increase your unit count and add some more to your portfolio. So this is my first video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to start doing a lot more of these and hopefully they get better over time. If you did like it, please like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.